Peace, peace. Welcome everybody to the channel. Hello. I'm live right now, Lou. You are? Yeah, you're on the camera. Sorry. What you need? Nothing. Waiting for some people to come in. I'm a little smoke. Yeah, I want a beach. Yeah, it's library. Oh, shit. What's that start? All right. Here we go. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah, shit, I can go. I can keep going. Peace and blessings to everybody, man. Part of self, I'm just getting stuff situated. You know what I mean? Just work with me. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Right, so. I'm gonna um, part of self. I'm gonna go live right here. First, let me make the title. Just get myself situated. Work with me. Y'all might think. You know what I mean? While y'all getting situated to come to the room, I'm getting situated to talk to y'all. So, you know, you know what I mean? Got to get all my smoke and stuff situated. You know what I mean? You know how people got the countdown before the situation and shit like that? I'm just doing my little, you know what I mean? Um, How to fall in love in 30 days. Shit. I will, shit, I don't really know how to um give you any guidelines of how to fall in love in 30 days, but I know if you fell in love or if you love somebody, what can be some of the um things to do to make your love stronger in 30 days or to find out that's the person for you in 30 days. Just work with me. I'm just getting my joint situated. Salute to um person coming to chat. Salute. Just get my little stuff situated before I go in. You, you know how it goes, man. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, All right. Self, right? Well, yeah, you can always edit it. You want kick? No, I ain't gonna do it for uh -oh. the yep. So I gotta put a title. Once I put that title up, I can just go live. Watch. 
Hmm. What's your show? You're boss. Shit. Ain't nobody watching right now. It takes a minute. It's still early. Pardon me. All right. Put a title up here. Um, Peace to the chat. Everybody come into the room. Make sure you guys share the live. Okay. <clears throat> How to fall in love and love in 30 days. <laughs> How to fall in love and love. Damn. In love and love? I changed that topic. That's all right. Damn. I just might think you meant like in love and love. Mm -hmm. Forever, forever, ever. Forever, Somebody ever. might think you meant it that way. So what you want to talk with, babe? No, you go ahead. You need to get your stuff right. Oh, shit. You can talk about shit. You know what I mean? No, I ain't got much to give today. You already know that. I'm a bit under the weather with something. I don't know. But I'm still here. So today we talk about love. How to find love in 30 days, man. You can't really find love in 30 days. But you can um, master love. And you really, hold on, you really can't master love unless you've been in love. People say they can master love. You can't really master love unless you've been in it. So you can give some type of examples, but you can't really know about it until you've been in it. But from my understanding, how you can actually find love in 30 days is, I don't know, I don't know. That, that's the hard one, man. Why you put that topic up there? You know, you know what I mean? I'm just... Yeah, come to see, like, you know what I mean? I can make that work myself. No, I don't know. Just talk about these effed up relationships out here. That's all. People ain't looking for love. They're looking for comfortability. A place to stay, a place to sleep. That's why people be with their baby mom and or or it's 
whoever they with and just complain all the damn time. I don't, I don't respect that when you see people in a relationship and they just complaining all the time because you have a choice. So that lets me know you're just there for comfortability or uh, maybe financially or anything like that. So people not even looking for a relationship because relationship is not about being comfortable. You're going to be very uncomfortable in a relationship. Relationship is not about finance because your finance is going to change. Why? Because you might fall in love with a person that's not good with managing money. You might fall in love with a person that's not good at making money. So people are not looking for a relationship. They're looking for comfortability. That's a fact. Because if not, you won't complain <clears throat> so much. People complain about their baby dad or their baby mom. But you got a choice. You got to be there. It's always a family member house you can go to. It's always some help you can get. You know what I mean? I've seen men use the system just as well as women. So that's an excuse. Um, you know, so when, when you see these shows out, like the pop the balloon and all that, um, it was one I started watching earlier, but we were going to do a reaction to it. So I didn't watch it, but these females just like, you know, as soon as the dude come out, they pop the balloon. Oh, you attractive, but I don't like your shoes with that shirt. So I'm like, what, did you come for a dress contest or, you know, just these shows to be funny, but they'd be dumb as hell at the same time. So people just look for comfortability or something. I don't get it. Cause I, I don't know. That's just, that's just not how I, I don't want to be somewhere where you got to complain all the time, but you see people do it. Oh, I'm still, I'm there for the kids and, you know, and I, I really think I, I would respect it better if people would be up and like open and honest about it. Like if you are there financially or if you are there just for the children, um, you know, just uh, be open about it. I think that when it comes to people doing shit for comfortability, I think the way it is now, yo, anybody can be with anybody because it's so com any everybody is so lonely now. Like to me, like. I think this is the, the easiest time to get somebody because nobody has no standards or morals or values. Everybody's based on what looked good for them or with them or or shit like that. So I look at it like if you want, I don't know why people are lonely because it's the best time to try to be with somebody because everybody is fucking lonely. Like everybody's lonely. Everybody got problems. Everybody got this and this. And you don't need to have a lot. Like, oh shit, back in the day, you had to be like a man or some shit. Like, now you think I have money. And looks is not even mandatory. You just gotta have like, you gotta be a solution to a problem. If you're a solution to a problem, you got it. Like, you know what I mean? And there's since there's so many fucking problems out there, there's always a nigga YouTubing a solution for you. Like, you know what I mean? So like, you know what I mean? I just think it's easier because everybody got a problem now. People been had problems. Yeah, but that was different. Like, we were stronger with through our problems. Now we're weaker. So now like we got problems. But we're not strong enough like to get through them like back in the day. Like we was getting like race uh fucking beat up on, we was getting abused, we was getting like dogs bit on like just mad abuse, and we didn't like cry over it. We just like fuck it, we're gonna make a system for ourselves, we're gonna become smart, or we're gonna do something like fight. But now it's like we're gonna complain, like you know what I mean? It's not even complaining about no food and like not not no shit like that, just just fucking everything. So when a person complains to let you know their secrets, it's like damn, you complaining about. You can't grab your groceries. Okay, I know your weak point then. You, you can't you can't do that. Oh shit, you complaining about you don't got no money. Oh shit, if I bring a couple of dollars, I can help then. Oh, you complaining about oh shit, you lonely. I right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend some time with you. You know what I mean? It's like I don't even gotta sit and talk to you because I can just look at your Facebook and see, just check you out. Like I ain't really gotta know you. I can tell, like, oh shit, I know you like skin. How you know that? No, nah, because I seen it on your page. Oh shit, I know you like to say, yo, I, was, I know you like Crystal, but I know you like Crystal because I've been checking your page out and I noticed mm -hmm. I like it's like you ain't even gotta, I can know you without knowing you, so I already know your problems. Every time you go in there and cry, I know your problems. Like, damn, you crying. How you know I was crying that day? Because I watched you. So now everybody knows your problems because everybody is vocal about their problems. Back in the day, it was like, well, all right, I ain't gonna tell you my fucking problems because I don't want you to know my weakness. It's like now, like, so many people are looking for sympathy. That they think vocalizing their problems will get something from it. Like if I tell you I'm hurt, maybe you'll. And it's like back in the days, like I don't need nobody to help me. I fill my own wounds up. Like I don't need nobody to help me. But but by everybody doing it, it makes it feel like everybody's entitled to do it. Like 
everybody's doing it. So it's like, what well, they doing it, they doing it, they doing it. It's like, well, I don't you know that's that come from slavery a little yeah. bit, right? Because my my grandma was like my 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 I want to say my great great grandmother. I don't know, my mind ain't functioning right, but um back then you you didn't speak about stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? She died from, she had gangrene in her leg and it kept spreading and stuff. So my mom said people would go to her house and they would smell it or they'll see her leg. And she's like, oh, ain't nothing wrong, baby. I'm just, you know what I mean? So they was still, it was in Warrington, Georgia. And, um, and I, 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 this is just my opinion, but I think sometimes black people do that because we think it's a sign of strength. Um, but I really think it comes from slavery because when, you know, you, it was no time to complain. Like you, it was so much that you couldn't, um, deal with what was going on. If you were sick, you know, you have to wrap it up and go pick cotton, which yeah, our ancestors was much stronger. But then at the same time, when you have that mentality of not telling people when you don't feel well or something is wrong, that could be a life threatening situation. Cause you don't want to bother nobody. So you see that physically with people doing that shit, especially, Black people, because we don't like going to the doctor and we don't trust them. Um, I seen this dude yesterday. I don't know who it was, but he was like, um, oh, on uh, the Black Ink show. And he was like, he don't like going to the hospital because the tus the, the Tuskies, the, 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 the <laughs> can we say this one? Tahiski? A spearmint, yeah. Um, Tahiti a spearmint. And spearmint. this should happen a long yeah. time ago. I don't know when, but here it is, 2024. And I don't even think he was alive, but I'm just showing the uh, trauma that makes people scared to do certain things, especially in the black community. That's why we don't talk about sickness. We don't want to go to the doctor. We just hope that shit go away with some gender rail and some remedies. And then on top of it, we don't talk about mental health stuff either. So it does show strength when you're not complaining, but you have to know what strength is and what dumbness is also because you don't want to not get yourself to the hospital. You don't want to not get yourself help mentally if you're going through something. And I think that's a big problem in the black community. Um, cause it, it's just, we've been taught that like you go get a, uh, you know how they be whipping the, sleep, know. you know what I mean? And then next day you, you know, big mama puts some staff on you or whatever, but you back, you know what I mean? And you, you just had to keep it pushing. Yeah. I understand that strength, but we are not in, in them days like that. And, um, we do have better help and technology for different things but i seen that in my own family that's why i can comment on that because i see it in my mom you know i have to make sure i'm checking on her when she's not feeling well because she'll just sit in the room and, and not want to because people are scared to go to the hospital i seen that working at the um at the uh that just threw me off with the people no i just it just distract um oh working in healthcare. I, I'll see residents come down that are really, really sick. And um, you know they need to go to the hospital, but you can't force them to go. And then a couple hours later, you see them about to have a heart attack where they can't breathe because their fear is they don't want to die in the hospital by themselves and they just don't want to go because they don't want to find out more crap about them. So just, just be smart of knowing when to open your mouth and don't make it seem like you're complaining and when to, you know, be smart and when not to complain. Let me tell you, let me tell you something, right? This YouTube thing. You have to turn that fan on. Thank you. Yes, yes. YouTube is very, um, how can I explain it? Not picky, but very observant. YouTube know that the cameras are different. And you might not think that, but it's a computer. And computers are in programs. People is different. People is a little different. But I noticed the difference. I noticed the difference between, like, I don't know. YouTube will push you if you show your body, but YouTube won't push you if you just show your face. If you know what I mean? You dig what I'm saying? Dig it. YouTube, I noticed if right now we were standing up talking, you'll get three or four people in this room. If I turn my back and talk, you'll get nobody. 
Ain't that amazing? That's why you know it's a computer. It ain't based off you. I look at that shit. I don't know. You have to keep test running to see because sometimes it'd be like that when you, depending on what time you go on YouTube and, you know, just whatever. But if they do that, then you always got to put the camera in front of you or go on the other thing and broadcast. Yeah, but with the relationship shit, though, it goes deep because the times have changed. Um, times will always change, so it doesn't matter what I'm saying now because the next five or ten years, the conversation will be totally different based on the people. But the era we live in now, totally different. Do you you want to um? Because you know you can switch. You can um. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm cool with it. Shit. But like back in the day, though, the same in the next ten years, they're gonna say to us back in the day. So it ain't no difference. I just know that from me growing up in a in a younger time, and then seeing what I see now, you're gonna see the evolution, and that's what we're speaking about—the evolution of it. You see what I'm saying? That's what I look at. The change. The change, change is drastic. Of what, people? Morals. It, it, it feel like people didn't change because they changed. It changed because society told them to. It's like nothing was really against like your free will. It felt like society made it the will, so you became free to do it. So society made the standards and you went with the standards. It ain't like you created the standards for what it is now. You just went along with the standard that was created for you. So when they, that's why I say with determinism and free will, do you actually have free will? Because the stuff that's in line ain't something that you came up with. It's something that was already in play and you just chose to pick what side. Um, it was nothing new. That's why they say it's nothing new under the sun. Um, but what I'm seeing now, it ain't like, oh, everybody created this. I don't think... People created 13 olds to get high or 14 olds to get high. I don't think people created 13 olds to kill people. I don't think we created, I don't think we even that intelligent to um make somebody do that in a big number. It ain't a lot of black Jim Joneses out there, like a whole bunch of black dudes that's getting people to do things um against like you got some black dudes that might got a couple females or some shit like that, but you ain't got no village. Like you ain't got a whole bunch of black niggas with villages unless they live in a tribe and that's where they grew up at. But you don't really see that. So it's only not like that is because society or the system hasn't made it like that. If society has made it like that, then more people would do it. But since it's not the norm because society hasn't made it the norm, that's why it's not. But again, robots will be the norm. It's not the norm now. But give the next 15 years when everybody doing it, everybody's going to have an excuse why they're doing it because it's the norm. It might be helpful. It might be accessible. It might be handy. It doesn't matter. It just you're go, people go with the the program. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? So that's why it's easy to have conflict now because that's what the system is made of. You don't even feel bad for doing it because everybody is doing it. Everybody is arguing. Everybody's disagreeing. Everybody is debate. Everybody. So it's like you don't feel bad for doing it because the norm. If you had free will, you wouldn't do it. You'd be like, you know what? I don't want to do that because everybody's doing that. But you don't. You know what I mean? That's why it's so easy for you to be that way. You know what I mean? Because you don't have free will to change. If free will, I'm going to change it right now. I'm not even going to think about none of that shit. I'm going to change You can't. You can't because it's a process. You got to think about it. You got to actually sit there. It's a process. So it ain't just free will to snap my finger. There's a process you got to go. What's the process? The mental process. You got to delete things. You got to do that. You got to meditate. You know what I mean? It's deep. Because it's deep in you. It's determined. You're determined to be that way unless you just change your determinism. That's it. But now everybody's determined to be drug addicts or get money or to be this. They're determined. It's not like this is my, this is me free willingly. I chose to be this. No, it's not. He was designed. So why, back to um, 
to rewind it a little bit because I want to build off of that a little bit more of um why black people don't speak up. Why why you think people don't, especially people of color, don't speak up when it comes to like their mental health or even their physical health, like just to brush things off. Um, because nobody listened to us. We've been talking for years and nobody ever hit, heard our voices. Nobody hear our voices. That's why black people have the most anger or the most offensive. Nobody listens to us when we talk because of the stigma we have on us. We're black, we're ugly, we're ignorant, we're dumb. We don't know nothing. We just get every time. It don't matter how intelligent you are. If you had a white doctor and a black doctor, not even some people won't listen to that white doctor over the black doctor. You know what I mean? So by, by black people never being heard of or listened to, what do you think we do? We don't We don't talk. If we say we sick right now, who's going to do anything? Nobody. So eventually you get tired of talking. And then you try to find your own ways to heal yourself. Like, fuck that. I'm going to just try to find my own way. Going to a white doctor ain't going to work. Going to them people ain't going to work. So we just start putting things in our own hands. But we never, we don't get no fucking attention. Hell no. Black people never got no attention. Exactly. At least back in a day like slavery. At least you can go to Big Mama. Even yeah, go to our own. You know, Big Mama go make you up something because even a white person will go out there and you know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's embedded in us for that because there's too many of us that don't speak up about stuff. You know what I mean? And it's, it's other people that have that fear of going to the hospital. So that's a, that's just a personal thing. You know, I've seen all colors not want to go to the hospital because they're scared of not leaving the hospital, but they say, you know what I mean? Especially when it comes to mental health and stuff like people just brush it off and say, well, that's just the devil or that's just, you need to, you know what I mean? They don't take it serious. Especially a lot of the trauma that people see of being of color or things that people go through. So it's just, it needs to be spoke about more, especially mental health and um, just your physical health also, because they say it's a lot of things that um, black people are prone to. Um, and if we don't trust the doctors then who the hell are we going to, to get stuff done? You know, right. people shouldn't be dying of heart attacks at 20, 30 years old. So people back in the day, you know, it was the, the fact that older people was the ones to get sick and go. But now you got people like, shit, young as hell. In school still, playing sports, high school, you know, dropping from heart attacks or they had different conditions and stuff like that. So um, we talked about it in school today about um, puberty and how a lot of girls now, you know, they, they'll get their, um, their, they'll start their period as young as like eight or nine. And um, that's not normal. Um, and it's because of the food. Um, I think it's trans fat. She said that, uh, creates the estrogen or something she was saying. Cause I wrote down some notes. Um, so it's sad, you know, if, if, if food can do something that big that you're, you know, messing with a child's hormones, just imagine everything else. So, you know, we have to be more mindful of, um, taking care of ourselves the best we can. And not being scared of the doctor. Like, if you don't feel comfortable with a doctor, you can always go somewhere else or, you know what I mean? Look around or whatever the situation, but don't not go. You know what I mean? Because I see people in my own family not going. And they know something, something's wrong with them. They know, but they just, they won't go. They, they just, you know, some people just have that fear. They don't want to know. Because like you said, you go, you go to the hospital feeling fine. They do a little blood work. Because just say it's a little normal routine of blood work, right? And then they find something. Now you didn't felt fine. Now you're going home, your stomach, you know what I mean? Now, now you don't feel good because a lot of stuff, everything is mental. So, you know, people don't want to know. They'd rather just go on without knowing. This body, when you actually think about this body we have, when you go to school to learn it, it's more complicated than what we see Very it complicated. And, um, by being so complicated, I'm starting to really understand it a little bit different. And this body is so magnificent, but it's fucked up how they tamper with it. Like, yo, I believe our culture and our history is in our genes. I believe everything we've been through in life goes in our genes from, from the beginning of time. From your dad being a warrior to your mom being a lady that was a cook, from your dad being astrology, from your mom being this, everything is in your genes, right? 
What happens when you cross genes? What happens? When you learn about how like the mind and the body works and the energy and, and electric and all that crazy shit that's in the body. I think they do things on purpose. Like I really think they like they fuck up our our, our originality because it's it's they understand it. Like yo, I understand the body. You don't understand the body, so you're just doing it out of attraction, you're doing it out of whatever. But the people up top really understand what that does. Like they really, we don't, we don't really like, I'm not really in tune with it. I don't know. I don't care. And that's the biggest part. They don't want you to care. They want you to think like this. It doesn't matter to me. The same way when they get money that comes into your community and you don't go there and vote and you don't come here and tell you what, know what you say. It doesn't matter to me. And that's what they want you to say. Everything that's important in life, you know what they want you to say? It doesn't matter to me. Because if it doesn't matter to you, then it, then they can control it because it matters. If it do, it might not matter to you, but it matters in a bigger way. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'd be on. Like, yo, they don't even tell us this shit. Like, like I don't know. I, I, I can't explain because I'm not that um deep on the history or the knowledge, but I just I just know for a fact. That if you're just say if a person from the jungle, Stone Cold been in the jungle their whole life, and you give them a white girl, and they mingle, what the child would look like? Like not fuck what it looks like. Like what would it? Like what traits would it take on? Because now you have this side and this side, so it's not even like a compromising thing. It's nothing like that. It's just like I don't know. It's just like. They they really like know how to like make us go against each other, like that type of shit. Like it has nothing to do. It ain't like we breed in to make each other stronger. It ain't like we breed in to make each other powerful. It's like we're breeding to make each other go at each other, and they like that shit. It's like keep doing it. It's like yo, keep doing it. We are gonna keep pushing videos. We are gonna keep pushing. We gonna keep pushing interracial porn, interracial sex, interracial dating. Inter. We gonna keep pushing that shit. Pushing. And what that does, it causes. A conflict with black on black, white on white. Oh, the white woman, we're losing a white woman to the black man. And then the black woman said, we're losing a black. It starts fights. It starts it start confusion. It start, and they use that shit. They make so much money off that shit, yo. So it ain't like, oh shit, it's for like a bigger thing. Like, you know why they breeding? So they can all come together. You know why they breeding? So they can quit racism. You know why they breeding? So they can get segregation. You know why they breeding? So we can all come together as one. Nah, they like that. It, 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 it's like a personal um thing. It's like, well, I don't give a fuck what they do. I'm doing it for me. And it's like that. And the people up top know that. They know that you don't think above yourself. You don't. They think 10 million people. You only think your household. So they know like you ain't on it. Like you can't be because we're on it. Like we see Palestine, Egypt, Africa. We see all these things going on and we got to control all this shit. And you, you know what I mean? And like you, you don't care. We do because we care about control. You don't. And if you don't never care about control, you'll never have it. You'll never have control if you don't care about it. I swear to God. You got to understand what control. I'm telling you, that shit is deep. Not no regular shit. Not on control like I can control it. Nah, I'm talking about some real. Like when, when you walk outside, you can control the room of 100. Like I can control the room. My energy, my, my, I can control the room. Because they, they can control the room. They, them motherfuckers control a fucking nation. Because they, it matters. To us, it don't matter. And that's why we're losing. Our city just got $2 million. And we would never get none of that money. You know why? Because it don't matter. The white people, they there every fucking Tuesday. Six o'clock, they're there every Tuesday. To us, it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm telling you, man. That's why I said change. We don't have no morals, no values, none of that shit. None of that shit. You don't see that. Just when everything's been taken away from you, you start to lose hope. So when black people were thriving, when they said it was like Black Wall Street and um like the banks and stuff, you know, these were things that I learned a couple of years ago that I didn't even know existed. Um, you know, uh, how they went and, you know, money was gone. I think that's why black people to this day, like most people do not put their money in no bank. The most bank they put it in is a Chime Stride Bank or or in the house. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's why Chime is thriving so 
good because it is a bank technically, but we have so much control over it opposed to walking into a regular bank that, you know, has a physical residence. So when you look at the black wall street and the banks and how black people got stolen for their money, and it's probably so much more out there that we don't know about, you know what I mean? And that stays embedded with you. And that energy stays with you. You pass it on to your children, you know, and they subconsciously don't know, but it's there. Cause a lot of shit's been passed on to us. So that's just a sad thing about it. Like just, um, you know, and you miss out because, you know, uh, the chime bank is, is going to be looked at different than, uh, a union bank or a M and T bank or a key bank. You know what I mean? Just because, but like I said, most people of color, they do not trust the bank. I don't even trust the ATM. I count my mind. I don't take it and just put it in my pocket. Like I count it. I don't, you know, I do have a bank, but I don't trust them as well. I don't know. There's so many things that can happen where they just take your money and certain weird shit will just pop up. You know, they might not be as blunt as they was back in the day. But, still um, but it's, it's still like that. You know what I mean? And, and people that are not of color, white people or other race, you know, um, you got to understand that. You really have to understand that. So it's 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 sad. And, it's just, and, and you know, you can still thrive and be a good person and still uh, be successful because we don't want those to be excuses. That's why I said earlier, if you're feeling mentally not right or physically, you know, you have to get help. You got to go to the doctor. You got to take care of yourself. Um, you know, the same with money and everything like that. But, um, I understand why people do some of the things they do. So it's, it's a bit sad though. It definitely is like my mom grew up in the South. So a lot of the stories that she told me just different things and you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. I was born in New York, but just the stories of how she grew up until the time she came to New York and started having her children and whatnot. Um, it's just crazy. And them damn slave movies. I don't know why they, they haven't came out with one in a while. What was the last one? I think it was, um, the, that, that was good. Getting at birth of a nation. Or like that. I'm not going to lie. Those movies are really good, but they don't make me feel good. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're good. Like, but they don't make me feel good. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, what is the purpose of this? Because they don't go too hard to really teach slavery in school. Did they teach slavery when you was in school? Did they teach you about Fucking that? Right, they taught slavery. Because I feel like they're not teaching. I feel like they're not teaching the kids that now. No, they don't teach now. Nah, too much interracial. You know what I mean? They don't teach. And that's part of history, it's part of the culture, I guess, or just things. You know what I mean? My kids head up. They mess with too many white people. They've never been exposed to it. And that's we, the we thing. Have, we we're not either. exposed. That movie exposed us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take some. That's why I said that they did they show it in school when Look, you was man, in school. I never forget it. Me and my white boy Ron. I tell my grandma, grandpa, this shit. Me and my white boy Ron, we was in school. They was like, yo, they're gonna show us roots. That was a dude from Reading, Rainbow. That was that dude, right? Yo, we thought it was like a tree movie. Like, maybe it's a fucking movie about some trees or some shit like that. Yo, when they put that movie on. After that, I can't even look at him the same. And 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 he felt like he did something wrong. Like like it it, it brought it, we didn't stop. It took like twenty minutes to actually like get rid of it because we're kids, you know. After recess and shit like that, and you go back outside, we right back to it. But in that moment, I didn't understand the 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 hardship or the 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 abuse that one race was receiving from another race that was my friend color so it left a lot of confusion and know what fucked up they will um make that happen they will show you the movie and then they'll go right back to class like they didn't even like elaborate or even see how we felt on it they didn't they just showed it and then it was like okay reset, mm -hmm. whatever so it left an impression that they didn't correct so when we went home it was still a thought, but it wasn't enough to elaborate on. But it was just knowing, like, oh shit, we was at one point in time. And then you start going deeper and deeper. Krista Columbus, you start reading Harriet Tubman, you start reading um, Rosetta Parks, um, Rosa Parks, you start reading about um, Madam C.J. Walker, you start reading about Malcolm, Ma and you start reading about the hard shit that the one race did, and it really fucks you up. Now, if they showed that to my daughters, like I said, my daughters had a lot of white friends. 
she wouldn't even she wouldn't even feel as though it was happening to her. Cause she don't feel connected to that side. Like it, it was like she would just see black people getting a beat. A lot of kids would. They would they don't they don't feel like it's them. Like we felt like, damn, that's that's black people. The new generation felt like, man, that's just that that's that's like you know what I mean? Like that ain't that's 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 the dark root. You see what I'm saying? And that's the majority of people younger mentality because they don't have a connection with the community as a whole anyway. Like they never had to go next door to get sugar. They never like somebody that was my color ever protect them. They never like they don't understand that. So they just look at it like, what well, is white girl gave me a jacket? You know what I mean? Same way in the streets. And they know different. Why do you think these niggas is killing niggas? But they don't kill no white people. That dude that fired him, he didn't kill him. That dude that shortened him on his paycheck, he didn't kill him. That dude that um whatever did that denied him on a job, he didn't kill him. But that nigga that stepped on his sneakers, he's dead. That dude that said, Man, fuck you, something like he's dead. Mm-hmm. So why is that white man that took money away from your family or that um allowing your wife to get from another you talking about ain't no man gonna provide for your girl or your wife, then why is she gonna to section eight or gonna and that white man, you ain't trying to kill him. He's giving her food, housing, everything. But that nigga down the street, he gave her $20 and you want to kill him. But that white man that give her help in the system, you don't do shit to him. So that's what I'm saying. It's the it's the mentality that we have. It has nothing to do with, and I see it. And, and by the internet being so um, broad, it gives so much dialogue to people to use against you. That's what all internet is. Internet is dialogue that people receive that they can use against another person. Because then they can point things out. Well, look, look at this video. Well, look at that. If you don't believe what I'm saying, look at this. It could be one out of a hundred, one out of a million. It doesn't matter. It just clarifies me. And that's all people want in their life, validation. That's it. You don't believe, look, you don't believe I'm lonely? Look at all these people that's, that's You don't believe I'm sad? Look at these people. You don't believe, it's just validation. That's all. It's fucked up because the people you're getting validation from ain't even valid. But you're using them to validate you when they're not even valid themselves crazy they're not valid but because it validates how you feel doesn't matter if it's right or wrong doesn't matter if they had a character doesn't matter if they're it doesn't matter what they're saying fits your criteria so they're right and that's what youtube is that's why there's a million people up there and there's always somebody you can gravitate to a blood a crip person in jail person doing it for anybody there's always somebody you connect to but you never connect to the people around you because there's somebody else online that you connect to so it stops you from connecting to you know more about this person than all. The hair is always done on here. The makeup is always done on here. The outfit is always done on here. Society is always slack. There's slack out here. On here, it's always perfect. Always perfect. I'm always going. And then you watch the ones that's not. Because then you got people that are like, I like the people that's their self. They have, they have a channel for them too. People that don't look good every day. People that don't care how people look at them. People that don't care how they dress. People don't care. There's a group for you too. There's a group for everybody. It's like a fucking game, man. YouTube is a game. What side you? What game you choosing? That's why I be. The, I'd rather be the gang leader instead of just the gang follower. That's why I'd rather make my own content than watch others. Yeah, I just um like I have a couple like throwbacks that I might like type into the search, but for the most part, I just like skim through. I don't even watch YouTube like how I used to. Um, I'm thankful for YouTube because that's how I bumped into like a Dick Gregory. <laughs> Hell and, yeah. um, you know, uh, just certain people like Dolores Cannon and Bruce Lemptons and the Paul, not Paul, um, what's his name? Oh, Bruce Lempton, the other one. Oh, I can oh, see him. You? No, he's tall. It's a white guy. He's like a science guy almost. I can't think of his name right now. But when it comes to information, uh, the emojis and stuff, I don't care what color you are. I go off your energy and your intent. And I might not be always right, but 90% of the time I am. So I, I'll just listen to get information. But it's powerful um, how strong the mind is. And this whole time, like, I've always been infatuated with the body. And I always will be. But it's to the point where I'm like, I don't know if I want to study that or be in that field the rest of my life. So that's why I'm thinking about the uh substance abuse uh counselor because those classes that I looked up um once I seen the classes that you have to take it intrigued me even more because it breaks down just so much with the brain and the mind and 
all the wiring up there. It's just as important as your body. And to be honest with you, I feel like it's more important. The reason why I'm going to say that, right? I'm going to give you all a little example. You ever not been feeling too good and during a day, it's like, damn, I was feeling shit at work. But you got through work and then you come home or whatever. And then at nighttime, you feel worse. And they say, oh, the body, you know what I really think it is or why you start feeling worse at night? Because your mind's not occupied. I was at school today feeling like terrible. And all I kept saying is, please don't get sick or pass out. Because I was feeling that bad. Got through it. Found a little Kit Kat, made it to the car, whatever. But then I notice once you get home in your comfort and you're not having all this movement, your anxiety kicks in or whatever symptoms you might have kick in. So that's why they say when you have a panic attack, um, I'm probably saying it a little bit wrong, but you're supposed to look around and identify things like identify color, mind on stuff, like identify that. noise. It's certain things you're supposed to identify. So the mind. So when I'm, when I'm in school and I'm learning about the body, I'm like, this is crazy. Cause I'm writing notes and everything. But then when I think about the mind, Cause you could be eating right, good diet, but if you're in a stressful situation or just going through stuff, whatever, your body's not gonna function right. It's not gonna function right. Your mind I'm is so powerful, and I'm like, you know what? I think that's more of my passion is the mind, the psychology, the the um, you know. And I'm saying that because as he was talking, I'm listening because I build in my own brain. But I'm like, damn, you know, just me not feeling too good, um. But when you don't feed into it, you can still feel it there, but it's not the same when you're like, you know what I mean? Cause your brain it's 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 just it's amazing to me. It's amazing. So that's why I'm like, you know, I, I definitely might change it because I I want something that I truly, truly am going to be in love with. And I'm not saying I'm not in love with the body, because I love that. I like learning. I do not want to go to a doctor if I don't need to. But the mind is number one. I know that for a fact. I know that in my soul. And that's why I'm like, if you're going to be busting your ass at school, go for something that, because on top of it, not only can I get a job helping people with addiction, and I've never dealt with it so much with substance abuse, but I've seen it in my family my whole life. Like almost every person I attracted in my life, whether they were a friend or somebody I dated had trouble with drugs. They just did. You know what I mean? I was like always the sober one or never tried anything. So just to be able to help people when they're at their weakest, I feel like I, I would thrive. Um, but just learning about the mind and being able to come on these platforms and talk to you about it, I, I think I would enjoy that too. I think I would really be happy with that. That gives me a high just thinking about that, like how strong your mind mm-hmm. is, yo. It's it's That's a, every time it's crazy. Be, every time I come on from psychology, it just blows my mind. Every, just the information you get. Man, because it's all it's you all, go deeper with it too. Man, like I'm, Ooh, yo, I'm starting me, to learn. Guys. Everything comes from you, yo. Everything comes from you, yo. How like, powerful you are! It, it, it's, it's like, oh, excuse me, you guys. It's like um, the trauma, the pain, everything. Yo, all that shit come from you, yo. Like I don't know. Like once you start learning that shit, nature versus nurture and shit like that. Free will determinism, um, unconscious versus conscious, um, biology versus psychology. Uh, psychology. Like you start learning that shit, like different things, like that neurology. You know what I mean? Um, uh, it's so many ologies out there. Oh yeah, it's so many ologies that like from neuropsychology, like I'm like, oh, uh, pathology. Oh, like it's so many things. It's so ology. Like it's so many things out there. Um, technology and all that crazy. But what I like about the brain that really it's a fascinating for me is that everybody is the same, meaning. Everybody brain works the same, but it works the same for you. Like there's a blueprint for everybody, like, like a weight, a, a, a size. There's a, if your, if your brain was, I forgot how many, it's, it's all right. Everybody brain has 1 trillion, um, set, right? There's nobody brain that has 2 trillion. There's nobody brain that has 4 trillion. If it was a person that had 4 trillion cells, he will be considered something because it's been documented that people with this many. T- so it's like not abnormal. It's like everybody. It ain't like you got more cells than me mm-hmm. or I got more cells than you. We all have the same cell. Now, can we fry them over time? Yeah, with different things, drugs, inhaling, um, chemicals in the world. But it ain't like we just come in here. We're all the same. We're, our brain is wired for us. Like we're all robots. We're all the same. It's just what information 
have you held on to? You know what I mean? Because everything started, everything starts in your childhood. Everything starts in your childhood. And when I think of that, because this is what psychology says, neurology says, this is what, I mean, from way back in the day, everything starts in your childhood. So when you actually think about your childhood and how you was treated, how you felt, how you didn't do, and you look at yourself now, you can see it. That's you fact. can see it. Ain't like it ain't, ain't, oh, no, that's not true, man. Like, it's a fact. So if you can just go back and fix the things in your childhood, forgive, uh, mentally fix those, you will be a different person now because you fix the things that made you who you are now. Mm -hmm. But people don't want to go back that far because it's like you have to dig in that. You know how people keep their house clean, but it's that one part of the house they keep dirty mm -hmm. because they don't want to get to it. I feel like that's some people's brain. It's like they try to keep the front clean, that that the frontal lobe, but they don't keep that back clean. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't, they don't keep that 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 back here clean. And I know all parts of the brain. I'm just lacking right now because the words are a little different. But <clears throat> I'm talking, I'm talking like, you know what I mean? So I just feel like the brain is so serious to learn because everybody, when I start seeing how people learn the brain, I can see how people can manipulate people. Mm -hmm. If that 48 laws of power is about manipulation, the brain, if you can really learn and the people up top that know the brain manipulators, the food, it look good on it on TV. And don't like that when you get it because I manipulate your vision. I, I can make you manipulate your hearing. I can manipulate you, everything over, I can manipulate you because I understand how your brain works. That's why I love studying. That's why I love psychology to the point where if I could, I will go to psychology more for like a longer term, but I'm only doing that for whatever. But that psychology shit is so deep because it's, it's, it's energy. Did you know one thing about your body is energy? Not blood. That's what makes your body, but energy. Everything is energy. Fucking they say frequency, but they don't use that in the psychology field. They don't use those words. They use energy. They use certain like um, pastures and cells or something. They might use something higher than a word that we use. Because they're not you know going to speak from a spiritual They're not, they're not speaking from that. It's so, more of a technical. A technical you know what I mean? Academic whatever, words. Yeah. You know what I mean? So understand that. But that's what I'm trying to learn because mm -hmm. it breaks down more. And then your 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 traffic and your audience be a little bit bigger based on the um, the punctuations or noun you're using in your sentences. You know what I mean? So that that helps you. You know what I mean? But a lot of people can't. But I love that brain because it, it helps me understand who I am. And I'm trying to tell you, if I can teach that shit to the hood, like, yo, some dude, I can help. I'm telling you for a fact, I can help. And when I tell white people that shit, that they love that. They love that. That's why I use that everywhere I go. Oh, yeah, I'm learning to help people. They love that. Because you know what most of the people here? They're learning to get a job. Mm -hmm. Everybody says that. I'm tree learning to get top, a job. He's tree get top. A, a slew tree top. Everybody said that. I'm learning to get a job. I'm learning to get, you know what I say? I'm learning to help others. Mm -hmm. That's why the dude said, you remind me of Obama. Because he went to Harvard when he got out. Because mm -hmm. I don't think about that. I think about what can I do with this information to get here. Yo, did y'all know about um, what um, um, Socrates talk about? And um, whatever, whatever. He talked about how to bring. You like, oh, shit, you know, but now they can go home and research it. Now they can learn about certain things. Phoenix Gage. You know about Phoenix Gage and how he started the first institution in France and in, um in, in France of the first um psycholo psychological center. Did you learn about that? Did that oh shit, I know about that. Boom, we could break it down more. Let me do but you don't you you have nothing. I mean, so I'm like, yo, man, I want to learn to get more of this out of there. And I say that. I don't say black, I point. Because they understand when I do that when I point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Certain languages. I say I try to get more people like. Out of the situations, I told my math teacher that he was like, like, I mean, like, cause they so like, get them out of there, Jamar. Get them, you can do it. Get mm -hmm. them out the hood. You know what I mean? Get, you can do get. And like I said, I took them fishing. You know, my man told me they never been to a place they never heard sirens. When I took long, I took long cross and shit like that to play. They was like, yo, bro, ain't no sirens out here. Hmm. Ain't no ambulance. You know how good that feel to the point where he go to a land. You come on. That's my job. Yo, come on. I'm going to take y'all fishing. Man, we ain't going fishing. You ain't got to put the worm on it. Just throw the worm. Just fill it. It'll change your brain. Change your mind. That's my job. Be a leader in your community and not to lead. I led people in the gangs. Won't you lead people to change? Fuck that, man. I ain't doing all that shit. I ain't doing all that shit. Nah. I'm trying to come back to my neighborhood with something. Same way Meek Mill and all them dudes do. They come back to their neighborhood with solutions, opportunities, way out. 
they come and make a manager. Yo, come help me with this deal. Yo, you always been smart with business. I'm going to put you on this little, yo, that's why I said, yo, if it wasn't for him, nigga, we would still be in the hood. I want to be that because they'll save your life. Them niggas will jump in front of a bullet for you. Tell me because they know you're the, survivor, you're the breadwinner. If you die, they they won't eat. So they know if you're still living, their kids will still have something to eat because you're a breadwinner. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, you got to, I don't know, man. Niggas trying to buy loyalty now. I ain't with all that. Mm -hmm. No. It's just helping and trying to motivate other people. But that mind thing, though, it's just, I don't know. I, I was thinking um, the other day, I think a lot when I'm in the shower. I don't know if it's the water, because mm -hmm. I'm like that about water. What's your sign? Aquarius is tricky because it shows a water barrier, but it's a. they said it's not a water sign, it's earth. Yeah. I believe it is. It could be. But I know it's not water, even though we're shown the water bear. But I think it's because we're giving water to the earth. Yeah. Um, that's why they say a lot of Aquarius people are big on humanity and stuff like that. But so I'm in the shower and I'm just thinking, because sometimes my mind just be thinking, thinking. So I use school as therapy. And um, I'm like, damn, you always asking people like when I'm doing my own little thing by myself or my own little lives and stuff. And I'm like, if you go back to childhood and you ask yourself, what did you want to do when you was a kid? Like you'll find your passion of probably what you want to do now, but you're probably not doing it because you stuck doing something else. So I asked myself, cause I'm like, you ain't asked yourself that. And, um, I said to myself, the answers I would give when I was a kid was I either wanted to be an artist. I want to draw. I wanted to do documentaries. And then I said, I want to be a counselor. And the reason why I said counselor, because I remember being in school, um, I think it was middle school or something like that. And um, I went, you know, you, you're, you're uh, appointed to a, a counselor, you go to your little counselor and stuff like that. And I just liked what they did. You know what I mean? This was a school counselor. Just you go in and talk about school, stuff like that. You know what I mean? But it was an artist doing documentaries or a counselor. So that's why I said I, I want to change my um my my thing to that because and plus the classes turned me out when I seen the classes that you take because I analyze myself all the time so why not be able to do it to where I can help other people Fucking right. I do it to myself all the time when I'm having anxiety when I'm feeling depressed when I do some stupid shit and I'm back in your head you like you know that's some dumb shit some people don't know I know. And I just, I analyze myself and I think all the time, you know what I mean? Especially, like I said, dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression. Just like today, I'm sitting in class, right? And I got triggered by something because we're learning about muscular, the muscles and the bones and all that. And um, I got triggered by something and I felt some weird energy coming on. And I'm like, the devil going to try to fuck with me with this. Yeah, that's how you give it up. Because I felt it. And I'm like, you better not fucking break in this class. You was fucking crazy. You better hold that shit. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And guess what? I'm going to tell you. When you stand in shit and just be in it and be in the moment, you be surprised how strong you become. Yeah. You can be in a windstorm, a hurricane. That bitch will just go around you and you'll stand there. So when you have an anxiety, you got to do that. You got to stand in it. You can't get all, oh my God, what if what if somebody does? What if I do? What if I do shed a tear? Now you're having a panic attack. Now you start feeling like you're about to pass out. Now you're starting to feel like a, maybe that's what it was earlier. I was going through a lot earlier. I'm just being honest with you guys. You know what I mean? So another example I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you how the brain work, which is the placebo effect that they do a lot of studies on. And I'm just telling you how real shit I go through. This ain't I watch somebody. So um, I've never taken anything for my anxiety or depression. But what I have taken is um, hydroxine, which um, I started taking for hives. But the hives was coming from the anxiety. So hydroxine makes you sleepy, but it helps like relax your stomach. And it, it used to be or it can be used as like an allergy medicine. Um, so I remember one time I was having bad anxiety where it felt like a panic attack was coming. Right. I said, well, let me take the hydroxine to help relax me. Now, remind you, that hydroxine is not a strong medication. It takes like maybe 30 minutes to get in your system. I go take the pill. I drink some water. My anxiety go away. You know why? Yeah. Placebo effect. Because I just showed my mind. I just showed it doing something physical that this pill is going to make me feel better. It takes 30 minutes to get in your blood. 
It don't take 30 minutes for your brain to switch. That's a exact, that's a placebo effect. So when I was in school today and I seen that shit pop up, yo, and the picture, I'm thinking to myself, usually you flick through. It felt like the picture, it felt like time slowed down because it felt like that picture was up on that projector for a long time. And I'm just sitting there staring at it. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm so big on, I'm, I'm big on that. I'm big on it. Y'all don't want to talk about it. I'll talk about it. Cause I know a lot of people suffer in silence with that shit. And they try to be the loud one, the funny one, the drunk one, the, the, the dumb one, the, you know what I mean? Because you're suffering with a lot of shit mentally. Yep. So try to hide it. that's why I'm determined. I'm going I'm to have them switch my shit when I go talk to them or whatever. But, and even if it wasn't get switched, I would still help people by just talking about it, by just being honest about like, what I go through. And that's not even a half that that's just like a little introduction. Like, hi, my name is that I haven't even got deep with a lot of the stuff that I go through, but I am because it's, it's, it's time for it to come out. Cause I know it's going to help somebody else. Um, yeah. At least I feel a little better though. Cause I wasn't feeling good when we first started. That's a good thing. Peace to everybody in the chat. Make sure y'all share the live. Thank y'all for sitting in. We really appreciate it. Because I always look at it, and I'm always going to say this. Y'all can be anywhere. So to choose to sit here and, and listen to us and, and comment or just show love, like, it's very much appreciated. It, it doesn't go unappreciated. That's why I'll cut myself off or even you sometimes not being rude to when people come in and talk because you don't even have to type. No. You could just come in, but you don't have to. You, you know what I mean? All that takes seconds and, and time out your day to come in. So me, I don't, I don't, um, I don't take that lightly when, when people come in. The only thing I ask is for y'all to show some love. Just, just like share. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, cause we definitely, you know, we're just getting more comfortable and back into doing, um, social media, but definitely going to be bringing some serious st stuff. Sorry. Some serious topics, but also some fun things, some reaction videos, and just digging a little D type shit. Type shit. <laughs> type shit. Yo, it's deep though when you actually think about the um we really man, like I, I ain't here to give up no mm -hmm. no dreams or nothing like that. And I know for a fact that ain't gonna happen. I'm not here to tell you what it is. But just because it ain't going to happen in the world don't mean it can't happen with us. We need to really come together. See what I'm saying? We don't have to come together on some business shit. We need to just come together on some support and shit. You see what I'm saying? Just supporting each other. Um, we It's more people lonelier now than ever. I am keep saying that shit because I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a lot of people with money, man. Like, a lot of people, <clears throat> it's, it, I'm not saying a lot of people got money, but a lot of people got more things now than what we had access to. So you can go to Renner Center. We just had layaway. You see what I'm saying? Like there's different, you go to Aaron, you go, you go to so many, there's so many, you can go to um, buy now, pay later. You can go shit off this. It's so many things you can do now to get something. Excuse me. There's so many ways you could take a loan out. You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. There's so many ways to get something. You could be a scammer. You can be a worker. You can be a. You could be so many things, and not even outside. You could do this around your house. You could have a whole black uh a black market on your page. You could be selling shit off Facebook. You can be selling shit. It's so many ways to make money. This is all I'm not saying about the money. Fuck the money. What I'm saying is we got to come together, support each other, yo. If you got something going on, let me support your shit. I ain't even got to buy nothing. I'm not saying you ain't got to buy nothing I got. I'm not saying buy my shit. I'm just saying motivate a motherfucker to keep going. That's what we should do as a people. Like, yo, bro, I like what you're doing, yo. I'm proud of you. Keep doing your thing. Make a person feel like they're not doing enough for nothing. It's cool when the, when people around you say it because you think they're supposed to say it. But when people outside of you, it, for me, it feel like they got a choice. So for you to choose to be good to me when you can be bad, that matters to me, man. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, choices be based on their emotion. 
So for you to get out your emotions and still treat me good, man, I got to give you honor for that. I got to give you honor because a lot of people can't do that. So that's why I'm like, yo, we got to really start supporting each other. There's a lot of people, you don't know how many people think about killing themselves this week? Mm. You know how many people thought about killing themselves this month? They didn't actually go to the store and buy the equipment. But the thought was serious. They was really focused on that shit. Like, man, fuck this shit. I'm tired. You know, some people wish they went to sleep and don't wake up. You know, some people deal with so they don't want to do nothing. You know, some people don't want to even take care of their kids today, but they got no choice. But they be struggling to do it every day. We need to support them. You know, I mean, people wish they could say we can't do it now because there's so much fear in the world. But if we had a little community that we can trust, yo, man, don't worry about it, bro. Take the night off, man. We're going to watch the kids. Yo, all our kids going to go to the movies. We're going to chill. It could be vice versa. Yo, bro, don't worry. That's what we should be doing. But then you wonder why she's so stressful. Because the motherfuckers, she want them kids every day. Or you want them kids every day. Why are they so mad? Because they never got the anger off of their back. And then when you go outside, nobody won't listen to you. So you just keep it bottled in. We need to be an ear for each other. Yo, man, I want to say, what you got going on? I don't want to tell you, man, fuck that. You're going to tell me. No, nah, let me know, nigga. I'm, I'm your friend. I'm your, you know what I mean? I'm, what the fuck? You got to let me know. Get that shit out. I don't want it to overrun. Because right now, I think our cups is filled. Yeah, them shit's overflowing. I think, I right think it's overflowing, man. And we're, we're, we're um, putting our um, water into the gun hand. And this ain't a water gun. This shit shoot real bullets. So back in the day, man, we, we I mean, it's it just, it's just different. We got to really start being there for each other because we ain't got long here. Yo, this world can end any time. You can, you can get an alarm right now on your phone, right now, to let you know in the next 72 hours, everybody's dead. Everybody is dead. We don't want to be dying alone out here, yo. I mean, you got your family. That's cool. But you didn't really live. You see what I'm saying? Like, you want to live with your, you know what I mean? With, you want to die with your town, with your village. You die in a town you don't even love. You dying around people you don't even like. I'd rather write it down, I'd rather die around family, friends, and shit like that. And I'd rather my mom and everybody be with me when I die. Everybody, be there. but I don't got a community set for that. I don't have an environment. I didn't, I don't have the money. I don't have the fucking resources, the knowledge. The fucking, I don't have none of that shit. But I guarantee if we will support each other, we can come up with some thoughts. Mm -hmm. We can come up with some thoughts. You know what's funny? My aunt got a piece of land. She's not even she's not even using it. All right, so how about we come half on it and we can talk about that? But we already got now. Look, look what we did coming together. See what I'm saying? Oh, yo, my uncle, we got this fucking yard. He ain't really using that shit. Let's talk, let's talk to him. Let's show him what we got going on. Yo, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We'll cut him off with me. What's up? It takes each one, teach one. That's how we all gonna reach one, man. We gotta come together. But you know what happens? I don't want no niggas around my girl because I'm scared they're going to talk to her. I shouldn't even think about that. Oh, I don't want no niggas, females around me because I, you shouldn't be thinking like that. For real shit, that shouldn't be because I want everybody to have their own people. Like, yo, you come with your wife and kids. You come with your girlfriend and kids. You come with your baby dad and your kid. You come, We're going to make this shit work. I need some niggas to help me climb these trees anyway or cut down these fucking poor. I need some niggas to help me build this wood up. You think I'm going to have just me collecting wood while this nigga over here uh, fucking making supper? Now, this will be real men in here. And ain't no niggas over here. Are we over here killing, trying to get these chickens? And you over here fucking foraging, harvesting. You crazy, the motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So, man, we got to really come together, man. I don't know. I, I could go on, but this shit. No, I wanted to read what Treetop said. And I wanted to drop my little downloads that I was getting while you was talking. And when he was texting, he said, We put here to help one another. This is our test from the creator. It's funny that you said that because when he was talking, I was getting a download and I was getting real anxious because my, my energy been real sensitive lately. I think that's why um, it's been so easy for me to, um, you can close that. That's why it's been so easy for me to, um, I haven't had really no anxiety in a, in a while and, and I've been having it. So it's like my energy has been kind of sensitive. But when Treetop said that, I'm like, you know what it is? We are here to help each other. We are here to share information, and it's sad when when you don't see people doing that. People are very stingy; they're very selfish, and I'm I'm I can only speak on my own experience because I don't want to go too much on other people. I feel like the only way I'm gonna be real with y'all is if I'm talking from me. You getting it from the source. I'm not talking about my mom, my dad. You getting it from the source. So when it comes to me, when I'm able to shed my layers. It's like when you get dressed to go outside and it's a and it's snow out and it's cold, you're putting on layers. 
Some people put on a few layers. You got your jacket, hat, scarf, gloves. So we do that with our pain. We get up in the morning. We get dressed. But you're getting dressed with pain from last night, pain from yesterday. You getting dressed with thoughts and trauma from 10 years ago. So when you get dressed and you got all this trauma that you're putting on, when you go outside, you're layered up. You can't let nobody in. You damn sure ain't going to help nobody. So that's why we need to start being able to take the layers off so we can be able to reach other people. For one, so you can feel better. That's number one. For two, so your mind and your body can feel better. But most importantly, so you can help other people. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say that is because when I go outside with all my layers on, I don't really want to talk to nobody. I'm frustrated. I get aggravated quick. I'm just in my own world and it feels uncomfortable, but it's safe. When I go outside and I ain't got no layers on, I can feel the breeze. I can feel humanity. When I go outside and I ain't got my layers on, and what I mean by layers is going outside with my pain and trauma, I talk to people more. I can feel people. So by me being an empath, I can already feel people. So I'm talking like, oh, what's wrong? You okay? You know what I mean? What's going on today? Or you know what I mean? So, no, I got my water. So when he was talking and I got that download, and I'm going to talk about that more. So you're going to hear me be repetitive about stop putting on so many layers for you go outside. And, and like I said, what I mean by layers is your pain, your trauma, your insecurity. Because the only thing you do is bundle yourself up in a, in a bubble and you can't allow yourself to relate to people or even talk to people. And I know from experience, when I don't put them layers on, I'm telling you, I go outside, I feel more free, I feel comfortable. You can enjoy the part of being a human being. You can enjoy the fact of um, humanity and really asking another human being, are you okay? Wow, don't worry about that. But when you go outside with layers on and you all bundled up with your pain and anger and trauma and all this shit, you're not going to ask nobody, are, are they okay? You don't even want to be bothered with nobody. You don't want nobody to even talk to you. That's what I'm saying. We can't keep walking around with all these layers on, all these layers and layers and layers. And then the more you don't deal with it, the more layers. And that's why, that's, that's why I said, like, you see people dropping at 20, 30, 40 years old. That's still young. You have to learn how to train yourself to be uncomfortable. We're, we're comfortable, like I said. We're comfortable in our trauma and our pain. And that's why we bundle up every time we go outside. And I know that from experience. I do it. You don't even know you're doing it. Subconscious. But then consciously it's like, oh, why did I have a good day today? Huh, maybe because I didn't dress so heavy with all my pain. And I was able to actually speak to another person and exchange that energy with another person. So that, that's what I'm really big on. That's what I'm trying to focus more on because I was doing a live coming home. I haven't uploaded yet because I want to edit it. But I'm just in a place in my life. We all go through transition. We all go through different layers and phases in our lives, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just at a place where I, I say like when R. Kelly was like, I'm out here fighting for my life. Like I feel that way because I'm fighting for peace and so many other things. Um, it's a fact, Rita. DMX always preached that. I'm just, I'm fighting for so much, but it's so intense that I'm so serious about it. And I have no choice but to come up here more and speak about it. And just speak my experience, speak from me. I am the source. So I am going to speak from what I go through. Yeah. I might give examples of family and friends or people I'm around, but 90% of the time I'm going to speak from what I'm going through because you you'll know it's real. Cause I'm the source. I'm the one that's going through it. Like when I was triggered early in school, I'm gonna talk about that too. It just ain't the time for it right now. I might even come up here and talk about it by myself or I might come up here. It doesn't matter, but I know it's somebody I got to hear it. I want to beat myself up over it. No, it's something you went through. Other people has went through it and now you got to talk about it. So maybe you can help other people or you can just share your experience. Cause we need to share. We too greedy. We being, we being too greedy, too damn greedy, too greedy. Gluttony. That's a sin. 
What happens when you eat too much? You know what I mean? What happens when you when you got too much money? What happens when you have too much of anything? Everything has to have balance. But I'm out here fighting though, I, and I and I'm not saying that because I'm going through a whole bunch. I'm not saying that because oh my god, I'm about to break down mentally. I'm saying it because I'm fighting to get out of routine. I'm fighting to get out of trauma. I'm fighting to break generational curses. I'm fighting for a lot of shit that usually I'll just maintain and just hold it and put layers on. I'm tired of doing that shit. That shit too heavy. All them damn layers. Anybody been walking around all that? That's too much. I'm tired of it. I'm dead serious. Like with everything in my soul, like I'm, I'm serious. So y'all gonna come on the journey with me on this channel, on my channel. It don't matter what channel you want to go on the journey. Type shit. Type shit. This weed is nasty, but is it? Yeah, because it's the dirt version. I got the good stuff over there, but I was just trying to get rid of the dirt. Because it's just sort of smoke right now. That shit, when you smoke your good stuff so long, you smoke that's connected. Mm -hmm. Devil always trying to come in talking shit. Yo, I'm so tired of you right. talking. I don't, I don't want to like, I'm so tired of your conversation, but at the same time, we got to take responsibility because I have entertained you for so long. And I'm not saying that you're ever going to go away. I'm not saying that you're going to be on some holy mountain and just don't get bothered by the devil. You want to get bothered by the devil. Cause I let you know, he ain't got your ass, but at the same time, I don't have to always feed into the negativity, the thoughts, the discouragement, trying to put you down. Nah, you got to take everything he do and flip it. You got you to gotta be a good hustler when it comes to those negative thoughts that come in. You got to be a good hustler. You got to have a hustle mentality when it comes to those thoughts coming in. And um, you always going to fall short a little bit, but uh, uh, you never take a, 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 a loss. It's always a lesson. So it's never an L. It's not a loss. I watched my mom die in front of me at the age of 14. I held that pain in for many years, but when I released that pain, it was the best feeling ever. Yeah, and that that's, you know. Sorry to hear that too, bro. Yeah. That's very um traumatizing. Traumatizing for for a child, especially your mother, you know what I mean? A friend of mine just lost her mom and everything, and I see how it changed her. So, um for you to be able to release it, for you to know and be yes, that's beyond a blessing so i definitely commend you for that and and just happy you was able to do that it takes a lot that and, and and you should feel good because to be able to do that you know goes to show your connection to god and the universe and all these wonderful things around us um because if not that that could have turned out worse with you holding in all that pain that's, that's what we don't want. That makes us sick mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, all that. All that. When you're young, we never had nobody to care like that. Like I was talking about, like, nobody, like, when we, like, that's why I'm here with you guys. That's Word, the fact. You, bro. And you know there's always love from my side. Always. Um, when we young, and, like, when a family member died, We'll hear, but we'll say, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Even though it bothered us, we won't use it as somebody else tool to hurt me. So when somebody say, now somebody disrespect your mom, totally different. We don't talk with disrespect. But we wouldn't like, yeah, fucking soul. excuse me, part of my soul. Part of my soul. Um, so when, when something bad happened to us, we was like, Oh, yeah, you're like, nah, bro, I'm good. You know what I mean? You know, shit happens. You got to get through that shit. Like, we would just, like, push it off, showing, like, we didn't care about it. And people's like, I know you care. You're like, nah, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Because if you felt as though you showed some type of caring, it will let a person know, got them. That's a weak spot because they care. They've been doing this since the beginning. Let me tell you something. Dumb mob dudes and gang members, they know who to get. Mm -hmm. The person you love the most. They oh, know. Yes. They know. Because they know who you love. They know. And they say right now, we're going to get his wife. They're like, he don't care about her. Because he cheap. We're going to get his son. Because mm -hmm. we know we get his son. He's going to give us that money. We get his money. It, they, it's about what, yo. 
it's all in, yo, it's it's deep. That's what I'm saying. It's all psychology. It's all psychology. It's all how you think. Once you can see how a person think, I'm going to tell you something. I always wanted somebody to think for me because it was hard to act out my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. For me to, to act out what you do, it's easier. I can I can act. I can I can be you for it. I no problem. I can't continue because my soul will feel uneasy. Cause I know this ain't me anyway. So it's like going to a job. I can work at a job, but after a while, my soul is gonna start being like, man, what the fuck you it's it's going because it, it's not I'm I'm acting. You see, how long can you stay in character? God, hey, you know what I mean? I can't live, I don't want to live here. You know what I mean? My soul don't let me. So it's just like it's just it's just the brain, man. It's just the way the brain is, man. It's just the brain. My brain is so powerful that I'm scared to put in the steps to be as powerful as the brain. But to be like everybody else, kind of, it's easier. Mm -hmm. Like my brain is difficult. So my life will be kind of like hardworking. This, this is in my brain, hardworking, determined, motivated. So it's like, God, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of person. But outside is easy. Like, well, you guys go to the I man, do that a little bit, wave it. I mean, it's a little easier to live like everybody else. So that's what I'll be fighting with. Me, the person, like you say, I see a person, you know what I mean? And then I see the person I'm seeing outside, the person that smoke a lot. It's like that, that movie I told you. What's the movie when those people was living under the ground? Um, people on the stairs, right? No, um, Pell, can, can um the dude Oh, us. I mean, yeah. Um was it called uh, us? Yeah, because it was us. It was us. No, my brain is not, not even. Yeah, yeah it was called us, where there was another version of them downstairs, and that was they was eating rabbits and all that, and that's how I feel like we are. You got your lower self, which is down there on some, you know what I mean, and you got your higher self. You up here, you know what I mean? That's a fact. I feel like that. I swear to God, I do, mm -hmm. yo. I feel like that, man. Like that's why they made that movie. Yeah, and it's a big reflection. That was a good movie. But people can look at it in so many ways. Like, I'm really starting to, like, think that about myself, like, yo, I'm going to tell you something. I'm only going to psychology to learn more about how to change myself. Like, I'm only, I, look, listen, I don't, look, all right, look, I can only be an example if I am the example. Mm -hmm. I can't be the example of giving information when my body doesn't fit it. I can't talk about healthy health when I don't look healthy. I can't talk about smartness when my actions ain't intelligent. I can't talk about financial literacy if I'm not doing nothing financial on myself. Mm -hmm. So I want to be in a better example, but the only way I got to do it, if I can fight these demons, how do I fight them? Learn them. That's what psychology I'm doing. I'm learning how to fight. It's like I'm going to get equipment from these people and they don't even know they give it. Like I'm going like, all right, and I'm learning. I'm not writing these things down to like brag. I'm writing them down for my. That's why I write because I'm like, when I feel something, I can go back and go, oh shit, it says right here, the illusion of the brain is the perception of the. But I can go right back and understand like, what, what? It's not like it doesn't exist. It ain't like these thoughts is just made up. I'm just making them up. They're not made up, bro. They're this. They're this. That's why people read books because it tells you in depth about certain situations. YouTube just gives you the the intro of what you get into, mm -hmm. but it can't give you 563 pages in a one hour video, bro. You can't. Like you see what I'm saying? So like you you gotta actually get into it, and when you get into it, you start to see yourself falling in it. But you want to fall in it because once you get out of it, you know how people you see them fall off the cliff. And you think they're dead, and then they come as a superhero. Mm -hmm. That's how we're falling off. Like we're falling off just to rise as a stronger person. That's how I feel. Like I'm falling. Yeah, I'm falling right now. You might see me like, yeah, he's falling. Yeah, but I'm only falling so I can rise stronger. That's yeah. it. I'm not falling because I'm falling. Like, oh shit, I'm about to be a crackhead. And in the next three years, you like see you me, I'm gonna be a drug addict. Though. That's all I'm. I'm only falling because I'm reinventing myself. That's it. I'm, I'm taking off all these old clothes. And you don't know because you're thinking, damn, you know, we about to be crazy out here. It's like, nah, because you don't want to see the outfit I'm about to put on. You don't even, you don't even have a clue. Mm -hmm. You don't even have a clue. You think I'm about to still wear this? Nah, bro. You don't, you don't have a clue what I'm about to do. You don't. 
but I got to get this information first. I have to get these words together. I have to get this intelligence. I have to get this academics um, language. I have to, I have to get all this stuff to broaden my, 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 my audience. When I go in front of white people and talk and I can use certain words, they're like, damn, I can tell he's educated. And I got my degree. Here, here, take this. It shows you that I can be time maintenance. To go to school every day shows time maintenance. That shows you, um, what is it called? Uh, your, um, when you first go into school, they look for attendance. Attendance. You yeah. have good attendance. They teach you how to write a resume way better in college. No, of Th course. Things to look for, how to write your words, different punctuations, different ways to space your sentences, what programs to use to even write them. You know what I mean? So it teaches these tools. That's the only thing I want. Give me these tools. That's all. Because I want to use them for us. That's it. I want to use my daughters. I want to use it to help her. When she comes to me in math, she tried it. I thought I was doing something. I thought I was learning. She, she brought me that math. I said, I got still a little bit more to learn. But I, I'll be wanting to, but I don't know what I don't got. So I want to be more to, I want to be more helpful. You know what I mean? But I can't. I can't be more helpful if I ain't helping myself with it. Yeah, I lost my thoughts somewhere listening to you. Sometimes I get sidetracked. George Floyd, Floyd got murdered and we didn't stand straight up. I freaking cried. I feel you. Yeah, when I when I seen that, um, I don't really do the news and stuff like that, but obviously eventually I watched a video. Um and I, I, I cried real hard. I don't remember the part of him yelling for his mom but i know people had said that um but it was very hurtful you know i don't have to have things happen to me for me to have empathy and feel for other people um but you know it it, it goes all that stuff when you see stuff like that on social media goes back to the mental health of us as a people because what is in you for you to stand there and just record something like that I don't even think I would want to pull my phone out. I can't tell you what I would or wouldn't do, but I don't think I would have the mindset to even want to pull a phone out and record something like that. Like I would be trying to help or get help or just something, you know what I mean? So just the mindset of us um, doing certain things is very, uh, very sad. But the only thing we can do is try to change ourselves and try to bring as much positivity as we can because you're either going to be part of the problem or try to be some part of the solution. So I'd rather be some part of the solution, um, you know, and, and not try to be part of the, the problem. Um, and that's why some people don't start their own podcast because they feel like, oh, it's starting off slow or they don't have a million followers and they don't have a, you know what I mean? But it's not about that. I think when, now when you on your ego time, of course, you're going to be looking at how many people's in there. But when you want spiritual time, it doesn't matter if it's three, 300 or just one or zero. You're just going to get the message out and the information because that's just what it is. You're not in your ego. You're you're in your spiritual. So you're trying to get the information out there because you know somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to grab it. But ego is going to tell you something different when it comes to that because it's like you don't have this and nobody's following and all that type of crap like that so um agreed about the death of books i love a good book you can tell when it's a bot and you can tell when it's a real person it's a real person he's like your your lady's voice love sounds like the mic's off it, it could be off it could and be off like, read about the book death and it's like howdy howdy how you and it's like, hey, hey, what's up? These are people though, they just come in. Yeah. Um, that's that that's some progress to even have people on there come in and even type. Yeah. Um, because there's so much going on on that app over there. So it's just trying to keep on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you talk? I don't think it's picking up. It is uh, it's pick it's going on your mic, but it's still picking it up. But sometimes I'll talk low, so I gotta sit up more and stuff like that, cause um, you don't want it to be too crazy. Yeah, cause I'm always gonna get, cause I'm right here. The same with over here. Yeah. But um, 
I'm just I, I like like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying it, like I'm just really fighting for that peace of mind and fighting for that strength and fighting for that. Um, we we speak a lot on you know oh my mom lack of love from my mom and lack of love from my dad and yes that can affect you as a baby it can affect you as a child it can affect you as an adult but what about the lack of love for you you have for yourself because some people had all the love from both their parents and still had lack of love for themselves. So that lets you know that yes, your environment and the outside can play a part, but it's still, everything is still inner. Everything is still inside. Everything you need is inside. All the tools you need are inside. So that's why, you know, it's good to turn to other people and loved ones and communities, but you have to be able to turn to yourself and have some common sense of what is going on with you mentally or what is going on with you physically um, because you know yourself more than anybody, you know, you, you know, when something ain't right, you know, you more than, you know what I mean? So we just have to learn how to take care of ourselves. Salute to everybody and kick. Yeah. Peace to the people watching. Make sure y'all subscribe on kick. Um, make sure y'all uh, subscribe. Cause we definitely have more content coming. Um, we, we have some, you know, it's not just serious topics, but we also have some other stuff as well. But if y'all subscribe, you can definitely stay in tune with, with things that we have coming up. Um, but I'm just big on that mental health. I'm big on seeing people do better, break generational curses. I'm big on people, you know, getting away from habits or addictions or routines. I'm big on seeing people um, grow from something. You know what I mean? I think that's a beautiful thing, whether you watch a plant grow or... Hey, yo, yeah, man, we're going to start bringing more content this summer. You said it's hard to find content, content on Kit. Seems like oh, that's what's up. That. Yeah, man, we're going to start doing more. It ain't always going to be content, stuff like this, bro, but we're going to start um, just bringing our 15 years of experience, a relationship, but not only that, just real shit. You know what I mean? We ain't no, like, uh, uh, mom and dad, uh, old, you know what I mean? We still we still active, but we still bringing that enlightenment. We still bringing that conscious, that spiritual. We still bringing that, you know what I mean, just mixing it with our you know what I mean? So we definitely bring it to the stage. But appreciate appreciate you for coming, bro. You know what I mean? It's all love. Definitely. Um, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned. Um, stress and high blood pressure will take you out of here. Of course, you know, the stress will break down your immune system, and stress will always open the door for any sickness mentally or physically. Um, a lot of that stuff I was dealing with earlier was stress, anxiety. Um and that's sad because I literally felt sick, like something was wrong. Um, you know, so that, that just lets me know I need to tone it down. That lets me know I need to do better. That lets me know I need to not, you know what I mean? But I, I, I know me, like I just said, I know myself and I, I think everything is going to definitely get better. I don't know. I don't think I do know that it's going to get better. Um, because I'm so serious about what it is that I want and what it is that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely gonna be a journey. Sometimes I be thinking so much, I, I'll yeah, kind of yeah. lose my thought I I because I'm that. like, oh, I'm about to say this. And then I'm over here having all these other conversations and thinking this and thinking that. Um, so that's why I've never been the best talker or explainer or teacher. I've always been better at writing, but that's another thing that I have to overcome. You know, it's going to be times where you are going to be stuck. I, it'd be times I go talk to those people at the school and I'm stuck and they looking at me like, what the hell? Know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, uh, damn, give me a minute to even think. You know what I mean? So you just still stand in your truth. You stand in who you are and you recognize your worth. You know what I mean? If you need to give yourself a minute to think, give yourself a minute to think. Stop beating yourself up so hard like you're perfect because you're not even... Ain't nobody perfect, you know what I mean? Like we all go through things and everything like that. But um, yeah, I just be losing stuff sometimes. <laughs> Your mind goes. I do, and I'm just, I'm just yeah. tired like that. When you go through mental stress, yeah, it does shit to you, man. It drains you. Let me tell you something. And I, I've been overwhelmed since this morning when the school was giving me a hard time about my daughter and her, uh, her shot record. So it triggered off certain things on top of a weak body and a tired body um 
but that mental will drain you. It will drain you. It will drag you worse than a physical condition. That's why you see some people that are dealing with cancer and AIDS and shit like that. And they still are happy and smiling. It was a guy we watched that had half his face blown off and he's still sitting there smiling, saying, you need to forgive people. And I forgive the people. I forgive the person that did this to me. That's a fact. So it's all your mindset. But then you got somebody that owe you $20 and you won't talk to them no more. I'm rocking with it. Life isn't about the goal, but the journey. Life is a journey, not a destination. That's a fact. You know, bro. You know. The mind brain is a powerful thing. It is. It is. And I'm just, I'm just excited to be going through this transition with you guys because usually I keep those bundles of clothes on, which is my pain and my trauma. And um just walk around with it but when you open just like when you open that window and you get that breeze that's how it feels when you can take them layers off you can actually feel a breeze coming through you can actually feel a breeze coming through so i want okay. to say something about this conscious community too yeah go ahead i'm about to excuse myself for a quick moment now i'll be I'm back i'm tired of this conscious community stuff Oh yeah, that's a that's another thing. But I'll be right back. But you build on that for a second. I'm right tired of this kind of community. You see what I'm saying? It's too much fakeness. It's too much using conscious community to like I don't know. Like yo, I'm gonna tell you something. We was conscious without a community. We was we was we was in a community that was conscious. You see what I'm saying? Like. We knew right yo, we was get yeah, when we was young, they was telling us, yo, man, stop doing that, man. Go to school, get education. When we was young, they was telling us, yo, man, why are you selling drugs for me? You gotta sell drugs. Your mom and dad, like, they was giving us little tools to give us options to make. See what I'm saying? Like, we was really like informed. We was really like, how can I say it? Like, hey yo, like I said, yo, my mom told me, like, yo, if a female ever hit you, you hit her back. Something in my brain said to me, like, yo, man, that's not real shit. That's that's not something you want to live by. You see what I'm saying? We was already conscious. We was already aware. Even though people around us was feeding some bullshit, we knew, like, yo, man, we ain't doing that shit. Now it feel like the weirdness has became so number one that people don't even, yeah, true stress and bullshit. You know what I mean? It's like people. Is so caught up in anxiety and depression and emotions and sadness and and you watch these freaking YouTube things. A man with a broken heart is a man that cannot speak. A man that yo, know, all that shit just makes you feel sad and shit. Like, yo, I got time for all that shit. Hey yo, bro, let me tell you something. Where we come from? Hey yo, let me tell you something. We care about the problem, we care about whatever like that. But at the end of the day, no more hear that shit. We're going to drink this beer. We're going to smoke this blunt. And we're going to think about good shit. We're going to think about, you know what I mean? Normal, you know what I mean? We're going to think about good shit. We're going to think about how the ways to, you know what I mean? That shit. Now, everybody's stuck in this emotion shit. Everybody's sad. Everybody is this. Everybody is that. That shit get played out, man. I don't want to go around somebody. I'm sad. I don't want to go around somebody sadder or sad too. I don't want to go somebody got some good energy so I can get some of that to take away some of this. But everybody is fucking to everybody. Like, I got time for that shit. If you was conscious, then why do you act the way you do? That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm going to tell you something. You got people that's conscious and you have people that are uh, connected. A conscious person can tell you, yo, there's 1,700 branches on that tree and there's 47 roots under that fucking tree. And it, it, to make that tree do like that, that's the conscious. He's conscious about that tree. A person that's connected about that tree. They don't know nothing about that tree, but they go out there and water it every day. They go out there and make sure it's taken care of. They're connected to it, but they might not be conscious enough of, to know all the stuff about it. You know when a person is chosen is they're conscious and they're connected. I'm not only knowledgeable about the tree, but I help it too. I'm conscious about it and I'm connected to it. That's when you're chosen. I'm connected to God and I'm conscious about him. I'm connected to my wife and I'm and I'm conscious about. Like, what are you connected and conscious about? 
Because I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Everybody now is lost, man. Everybody is up and down. One minute you're good, one minute you're sad, one minute you're good, one minute you're sad, one minute you're good, one minute you're sad. This freaking weed, that thing ain't weed no more. This is like crack. You ain't got a blunt, you ready to punch, you ready to headbutt the TV. Let you not get a blunt. Let you let you got a blunt right now. Let you got some weed right now. Find out you ain't got no rap or no paper. You gonna go crazy. What the fuck niggas gonna start rolling up out of motherfucking speaker phone? Like, man, what the fuck? Let you right now not have nothing. To, you got let it be 12 o'clock at night and you ain't got no rap. You thought you had a rap. You thought about it, like, no, I'm gonna go to school. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the store. I already got one. And you, and you realize at 12 o'clock at night, you ain't got one. You gonna go crazy. You're going to drive four fucking hours to the next corner store, gas station, to get a blunt. I'm telling you, this shit ain't weed no more. This shit is drugs. Let me tell you something. When we grew up, we didn't do nothing. Let me tell you something. Weed ain't what it is back in the day. This shit is, this shit is fentanyl. This ain't no goddamn weed. This is weed. Yo, let me tell you something. This shit don't even make you weed. Back in the day, we smoke weed, get munchy and shit. Yo, I'm hungry. We used to get the giggles. Remember that shit? Like, ha, 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 ha. This shit, hey. You know what you smoke now, nigga, get serious. I'm off like, yo, stop playing. I don't play no more. Like, what happened? Niggas don't do that no more. Niggas don't smoke and laugh and joke and eat munchies and shit. Niggas smoke now. Don't no eat. You smoke now, you, your hunger is gone. That ain't the real weed, man. That ain't no weed, man. That's crazy. That's something else. Niggas be hungry as hell. But those you smoke, you fool. What type of shit is that? Well, that ain't no goddamn weed. What type of weed does that? You tell you shit ain't different. The withdrawals is different. Niggas get withdrawal from this shit. Like, what the fuck? You getting withdrawal weak? I'm telling you. I know niggas right now lost 20 pounds off, off, of, off of backwood. All right. And you like, why he out here smoking? Addicted. Addicted like a motherfucker. Like, what are you talking about? This shit ain't no good, but this shit is bad for you, man. This shit ain't good, man. This shit ain't weed. I'm tell you something. I got, I, I'm growing the weed right now. That shit don't look real. I say no goddamn weed. That shit is done. Uh uh. I don't fuck with it. But I'm about to um I got a few things I gotta do. We've been on here for almost two hours. You can stay and talk, but I gotta, I gotta do my schoolwork. I gotta go um tend to the girls right now because help them get some stuff situated for school tomorrow. And plus that smoke, I'm already stuffy right now. After a while, it's a bit much. I don't care what nobody say. When you're not a smoker, um, after a while, it's, it's just too much. And I'm already, when I came in my room, I was already stuffy. It don't matter if you blow it that way. I know, be up yeah, you know? yeah, no matter. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's not hitting right now. I went out there, I'm like, damn, I feel a lot. Because in here, I'm already stuffy, but I'm used to it. I went out there, I'm like, oh, no. <clears throat> Are we about to end the live? I got something in my hand. It's our hand thing. Mm -hmm. See it on here too. It's our hand. Tomorrow we will have the camera better because he 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 went on a, a different platform. Yeah, so tomorrow's gonna be back regular because that camera is a little bit better to set up. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Love mm -hmm. y'all, man. Well, say peace. Love and soul. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna start just saying what come to mind. I got a big thanks for um kombuches and elderberry these days. I got a big thing. Yeah, kombuche is fire. Mm -hmm. I fuck with the kombuche. The kombuche is um nice. My man put me up, upstairs put me a kombuche. And elderberry is phenomenal food. You know elderberry is good.